Our thymic rejuvenation program is based on a study called the TRIM study, which came out in 2019. The hypothesis behind the TRIM study was that uh, by, by using growth hormone to um, stimulate and uh, promote thymic rejuvenation, we could hopefully see parameters that would show improved immunity and thereby uh, theorize that we have less susceptibility to age-related diseases. So to be more specific, the thymus gland's uh, primary responsibility is as an immune organ. It helps to train white blood cells to become uh, immunocompetent, meaning that they are um, now uh, able, trained and able to uh, recognize invaders, disease, and aberrant uh, cancerous cells and help our body form a uh, defense against them. The thymus gland um, undergoes involution as we uh, mature. That means as we reach maturity uh, in our teens, the thymus gland starts to become uh, essentially a fibrous, fatty, non-functioning organ. Dr. Favihi, who, uh, who was the head researcher of the, of the TRIM study, felt that with growth hormone augmentation, uh, we could see some rejuvenation of the thymus gland. Um, when they ran uh, the epigenetic testing on the subjects in this study, they showed that there was a range of improvement in their epigenetic uh, age up to two and a half years. We have developed a program for thymic rejuvenation here based on the uh, TRIM study. And that uses the growth hormone, which in and of itself has rejuvenating properties. Okay, growth hormone augmentation with a growth hormone peptide um, will result in improved cellular uh, growth and proliferation, improved collagen uh, and matrix formation, um, and along with that, repair and rejuvenation of tissue. We've also added metformin to the program. Metformin is an anti-diabetic medication, um, but it also has a long, uh, one of the longer histories of the newer, uh, newer field of anti-aging medication. Um, metformin has been shown to decrease cognitive aging. It's one of the uh, more uh, safe safe medications out there today. There's a long history um, with it. Uh, we've used it many years for um, diabetes and prediabetes, and it's usually well tolerated. Uh, if you'd like to get started, please let us know.